may look like a scene from a dance club, but it's actually a chemistry lab that uses lasers to study type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, and cataracts. So this is a femtosecond laser. So when you go to the disco, the strobe light goes on and you can watch people's dance moves, right? So we watch molecules dance, but molecules dance much faster. So a femtosecond laser is a strobe light that pulses at 10 to the minus 15 seconds. That's a millionth of a billionth of a second in duration. And that allows us to watch the molecules dance to figure out their shapes. So with infrared spectroscopy, we can study these proteins, whether they're kinetically evolving. In other words, if they're changing shape with time, which is a common problem with these diseases. Currently, it's really difficult to treat type 2 diabetes. Um, it's something that we tend to try to control more with diet and lifestyle choices. I'm studying um, HIPP. Basically, I'm trying to look at some very preliminary drug molecules. We can take that information, hopefully feed it back into the community, and kind of guide um, drug design. One really exciting thing that's come out of my work is in studying how these drugs interact with the misfolding proteins, we found that the drug actually behaves in almost the complete opposite way that you might expect. And so this work has really provided some insight in how to develop effective drugs for combating type 2 diabetes. You can see that the research we're doing here is influencing science and knowledge worldwide.